Okay, hello and welcome. Welcome to today's session. This session is about creating an online course and choosing a platform. This is very important for teachers who want to teach online and either for free because they want to uh, supplement their face-to-face -face classes in a blended format for uh, flipping their classes and of course those teachers who'd like to make a living teaching online. So this course is about just that. So um, let's get started with today's session. Okay, and the session is about creating an online course and choosing a platform. As you can see, there are a few uh, platforms here. Okay, let's take a look at them. There is uh, my favorite, which is Moodle. These are all free. Okay, so we've got Edu 2.0, it's been around for quite a while. It's completely free. There's Learn Opia, Course Sites by Blackboard, Moodle, as I said, my favorite, P2P, Peer to Peer University. And then there's uh, Ed He, Udemy, Claire Line, which you might really like because it's like Moodle, but it's not. And again, it's completely free, it's open source and our campus. Of course, there's also Edmodo that you can use that is not here. The full list, and let me get to it. Okay, we're going to look at the full. The question is, what is best for you? And only you know what your needs are. What you're going to be doing this week, there's a task you're going to be going through each of these. Okay, so let's take a look at them. Okay, so first of all, there's blogs. You can actually create courses on blogs and there are ways to even charge money. Blogs are completely free. You can use uh, Google or WordPress or other blogs and just Google blog and you'll find them. And then there's Clara Line. You can look it up. The idea is for you to create this kind of uh, PowerPoint file. Actually, it's just a slide. Add the platform and then the benefits and drawbacks. Okay, as I mentioned, there's Ed 2.0, Edmodo, Facebook. You can also use Facebook uh, to teach. Uh, many teachers are finding Facebook very uh, socially engaging for their students. They can share different things. You can share files. You can share images. You create a secret class like a group, but it could be a page as well. And then you um, specify whether you want everybody to join. You can make your some of your students administrators. It's a lot of fun for the students. It's innovative. And um, it might be something that you want to consider. There are Google classes, IO, which is fairly new that you might want to try by Googling uh, Google. Moodle, as I mentioned, find out the benefits and drawbacks, Odijul, okay, and as I mentioned, Peer-to-Peer -peer University, our campus, Edutu, Wikispaces, and WizIQ. I'll be giving you a lot of information on how to create courses on WizIQ, but I want you to find out what the other platforms have to offer their benefits and drawbacks. And of course, you have to think of your specific needs. Choosing a platform. What are the benefits to each of the platforms? And what do you look for in a course or in a learning management system? Now, this is up to you. What would suit your needs? And of course, you have your students in mind and what would suit them? The task of the week, and this is an engaging, of course, uh, course. The idea is for you to participate in active learning. The task of the week, you're going to conduct research. You're going to fill in the chart that you've seen before. You're going to share the results of your findings. Now, just to show you that everything is actually right there on the platform. So. Um, 
it should be quite easy for you to do and you're going to share the results in the course so let's take a look at the course we're talking about the marketing course so let's just go there now okay this is how i access the wizag q account i'm going to be screen sharing this with you in just a second okay so um let me go to the course and then I'll be able to uh, clarify things as I go. So back to class. Okay, I'm going to screen share. So you're able to view this as you go. Now, of course, you will be using a table of some sort. You'll add all the uh, different platforms. You may find other platforms that are free that you'd like to use feel free to add them to the list. Okay, so uh, you can learn about them and then decide. You will decide. You'll have to decide between the platforms and uh, just tell you a little secret. I've been using a lot of the platforms. I try them out as they come out uh, just to get an idea of how they work. All right, so let's go to our course. Okay, so the course is right here the name of the course is develop and market your online courses when i say market of course i mean recruit students there are currently 19 of you in this course okay and here's the link for the course if you want to share it with your friends and get them to join as well you can also share it on linkedin and this is really important because you can do this with your courses okay you can tweet them right from the course. So this is a particular course that I'm giving. Okay, and here's a live class. Notice that the course has course feet where you can start a discussion. And here is the PowerPoint presentation. All right, so I'm gonna write here for now. Please um, comment or ask questions about, oops, I'm gonna typo here, about the uh, tutorial and the task of the week okay and the task of the week of course is to um, choose a course platform but first to research okay so there's the question and hopefully you will respond to that notice their instructions here and comments as well. So feel free to use the start a discussion if there's something else you'd like to have. In addition, notice there's the courseware for each of the live sessions. There are also some old ones, but notice the new ones. Okay, this is today's session, creating an online course, choosing a platform. Next week on Saturday, there's create video and audio tutorials for online courses and then schedule a live class on WizIQ. Market, again, when I say market, I mean recruit to get students. Okay, so feel free to um, watch and learn. Okay, so I'm going to actually get the link so I can add it to the class. Okay, so let's go back to the class. Here we go. I'll stop sharing and add the link to the class so that you remember what course we're talking about. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so that's your task for the week. I'm looking forward to um, seeing how you manage and the final results of um, the platform. All right, so thank you very much. This was Nellie Deutsch and um, See you online. Thank you.